What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at this 2024 Audi A3, provided to me by my good friends over at McGrath, Audi, and Morton Grove. I will link them down below, make sure you guys check them out. Browse their inventory and give them a call with any questions. Go ahead and fire this thing up. We'll start off with the exterior walk around of this A3. So keep in mind, this is considered Audi's entry level vehicle and I really think you get a lot for the money. This car MSRP is right around $41,000. Take a look at how nice this back end looks. I really like what Audi's been doing with the taillights. They look super sleek and I think they just make the car look super aggressive. You get the blacked out Audi badge as well as the blacked out A3 badge right there. Super nice. Come here on the side, standard gas cap right here. Nothing too crazy. Beautiful wheels and tires on this A3. I think Audi did a great job with those. Also, you'll notice no chrome on the outside of the car, which I really like. A lot of manufacturers will start off with the chrome on the outside, and as the model progresses, they actually change that to black. Take a look at the front of this car. Looks super menacing. I really like these Audi headlights, and you'll notice um, these actually have like a cutout right here, which I think makes them look super aggressive. You also get this little bit right here. And take a look at this massive, massive front grille that I think looks super nice. The hood also has got these uh, lines giving the car a more aggressive look. I think that looks super nice. Overall, a very sharp looking car. It's definitely um, a more of a college kid type of car, first Audi type of car, because it is a little bit small. But speaking of storage space, let's go ahead and pop the trunk. And the trunk is not small by any means. It's definitely fine for everyday use, for groceries, for things like that. Um, but definitely not geared towards a uh, family car. Um, but the trunk space is big. You get a little compartment right here. You also get a little hook right here to hook your groceries or what you have right there. Um, you also get a little bit of additional storage space under here, as well as a spare tire. Obviously, this is a brand new car, so you get all the floor mats and goodies and things like that. Um, the close is not a power, so you just grab on right here. Right there, let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what this motor looks like. Alright, so there it is. A little bit on the louder side than I was expecting. There it is chugging along right there. Let's go ahead and jump inside this A3 and go over some of the interior features. So we'll start off with the back seats of the A3. So like I said earlier, this is a bit of a snug fit. It is more of a smaller car. So my knees are almost touching the driver's seat. This is my respective driving position. I am just under six feet. Um, but the doors have a nice trim piece right here that integrates with the door handle. It's kind of like a floating door handle, which is pretty cool. Get your standard window control there, grab handle and a little storage compartment right there. You also get a little bit of storage right here with netting, two USB um, ports right there. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a tight fit back here. Again, not, I don't think geared towards really a family car. It's more of a single person or two people type of car. You get your drop down armrest right there with the cup holders. You don't get the cool cup holders like the A6, but you get them right there. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I could definitely sit back here. It is a little bit on the tight side, but again, can make it work. Grab handle right there as well. Now let's go ahead and jump in the driver's seat and go over some of the features that you get there. So we're inside the A3 now and we'll start off with the driver door. The first thing you'll notice is this beautiful design element that we saw in the rear seats. It kind of integrates into the door handle, which is pretty cool. It kind of just floats there and lets you uh, grab onto it. Um, you get your lock and unlock buttons right there. You get your driver memory uh, seating right there, which is pretty cool. You get the child lock buttons right here, power windows for front and back, as well as your power mirror controls right there. You also get the uh, button to release the trunk right there, as well as some additional storage down here. And speaking of storage, you also get this little compartment right here, opens up, pretty cool. You get your lighting controls here, you get a beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel with your standard uh, controls on it right here. Let's check the uh, horn real quick. Oh yeah, I'll give that a seven out of 10. You get your standard uh, stocks right there, pretty cool. 
I'm coming around to the infotainment center. Everything works great. I was messing around with this a little bit. Only a couple of the screens uh, have a very little bit of lag, um, but everything else works as it should. I really like how these uh, buttons are very crisp to touch. I mean, just listen to this. Now it's cool because they are physical buttons, but you also get a screen as well. You get your drive select button right here. This screen pops up, a little animation, which is cool. You get the traction control off the auto stop start button right there as well as some parking sensors right there you get your two USB-C chargers right there as well as wireless charging which is super nice stop start button uh, you get your parking brake right there as well as this little knob that controls um, the radio which is pretty cool now when I first got in I thought there was a part missing but uh, this is the actual shifter um, it's nice because it's kind of like a two-stage thing so if you do that nothing happens you gotta it's got two but two steps to it which is pretty cool you get the uh, parking brake right there as well as a 12 volt you get your two cup holders right here pretty nice as well as a small cubby right here for some storage now these seats are pretty comfortable um, they are pretty basic but they are uh, comfortable at the same time get the job done you also get a, a sunroof right here which is pretty nice it's kind of like a mesh material when it's closed open that up and a good size sunroof right there let's go ahead and get this a3 out on the road and see how it drives let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Let's get this thing out on the road. Now, before I forget, I do want to show you guys a feature that I stumbled upon. So as you can tell, my phone is charging on the wireless charger right there. Now, assume I get home, put the car in park and get out of the car. Now, I'm sure this happened to a lot of us where we forget our phones in the car, but check out what this A3 does for you. So you get home, turn off the car, nothing happens. Your mobile device is still in the vehicle. How cool is that? So it reminds you to grab your phone before you get out of the car. All right, so as luck would have it, uh, the dealership actually just texted me and said this car is sold, so we do gotta get back. Um, but let's go ahead and take this thing out on a quick spin for you guys. Again, a very nice, nimble, everyday car. Um, not a family car like I had mentioned earlier, but definitely something that can be used um, by a single person or a couple or something like that. Um, but as far as storage space goes, it is a little bit tight. Now, acceleration is ample in my opinion picks up and goes very comfortably the suspension is very soft I went over uh, quite a few bumps back there and um, felt very nice it's got the nice paddle shifters as well in case you're feeling a little spicy but overall a very comfortable car I went over several bumps and uh, the car handled very well um, the suspension is nice and soft again the pickup is plenty let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Is this something that you guys would consider as a daily driver? Definitely think at $41,000 this car is very compelling and uh, a lot of people uh, would be interested in daily driving this car. So again, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, what, are, what your experiences have been with your uh, A3s. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.